Good morning, welcome back. So this is part two of the two-part series about Motorola voice announcement files. I was gonna wait to do this video, but I decided, you know what, I've got time, so might as well go ahead and get it done. This way you guys aren't left hanging out in the wind or whatever, okay? Part one was a quick showing on how to generate voice files using a text-to-speech program. The one I was using, um, that's, that's it, okay? You can use whatever voice file you want. If you recorded your own, cool. If you're using the text-to-speech program, cool. But the trick is this. You had to have it in the right format. Nine times out of ten, when people come to me and say, hey, my uh, voice announcement files aren't working, what's going on here? I say, hey, check your audio files, your source files, make sure they are correct. So if you haven't done that, go check out video one. You'll see that they have to be in a very specific format and a certain size or less. 56 kilobits or less, it's got to be a WAV file, nothing else. No MP3, nothing. It's got to be a WAV file. You have to have recorded it in 8000 hertz, 16-bit mono format, okay? The other thing is, it's got to be four seconds or less. CPS allows up to four, but realistically, I would keep it at three or less, CPS kind of gets a little weird when you start approaching that four second mark. So anyway, if you haven't checked that out, please do. Uh, video one, it's already been posted not too long ago, actually. So let's get rolling on part two. How to convert these WAV files to the MVA, Motorola Voice Announcement File Format, and load them into your CPS. Really simple. Once you get your CPS fired up and you open your code plug, um, it's as simple as assigning the file uh, once you convert it, okay? So you'll notice down in your zone, you've got, well, in this example, we got one zone, one channel here. Zone announcement is set to zone one, channel one for our voice announcement on the channel. Now, if you select none, that's it. It turns it off, no big deal, okay? Bingo. Up here under your CodePlug structure list, it's under uh, Radio Ergonomics Configuration, Voice Announcements, Voice Announcements List. There's two that come defaulted with the basic code plug. No big deal. We're going to add our own here shortly. But first and foremost, I want to talk about some of the settings with this. So if you click on Voice Announcement Wide, at the very top, you see Voice Announcement Priority, and it is defaulted to Low. What that's telling the radio, once you load this into your radio, is that traffic on the channel takes priority over playing the voice announcement file. So when you switch to zone one, channel one, if there is traffic on the frequency, it will play the traffic and not your voice announcement file. Really, really important that you understand that. Now, it's personal preference. I prefer to have the radio traffic take priority. If you would rather know what channel you're on regardless, you can set that to high and it will play the voice announcement file first before unmuting the speaker to any traffic on the frequency, okay? So again, personal preference, it's up to you. Do whatever you like. We're here, we support you, okay? Now on this, you also see some other stuff like functions of the radio, scan on, monitor, TX inhibit, etc. Yes, you can assign a voice announcement file to specific functions on the radio. For example, if you fat finger your radio sitting down in your vehicle and kick the scan on, this is a great way to alert you, hey, you know what, your vehicle seatbelt chingus just activated the scan feature, it'll let you know. I don't use it, but hey, it's, it's a great thing for those of us that are a little... Anyway, let's just move on. So. How we convert our WAV files to the MVA format is very simple. Motorola was kind enough to give us a converter utility. So if you open the tools menu in your CPS, you'll see the uh, VA section here, voice announcement section. What we're interested in is the VA converter utility. You pop that open and boom. You'll notice that Motorola was kind enough to provide us with a ton of pre-recorded WAV files. They have all kinds of stuff in here. So if you want to use the ones that it came with, cool. If you don't, you want to use your own, even better, okay? So just as an example, uh, we're gonna go with zone six dot wave. Now, if you've got your own recorded, you simply hit browse, navigate to the folder where you saved all your wave files, and it'll pop it in there, and it'll show you the list of what's in there. 
If you want a specific place to dump out the converted files, you can select that yourself. I prefer to use everything on the desktop and then I move them around later. Um, but you know, that's up to you. Yes, you can select more than one file as you see. Um, you can select them all. That's going to take forever and a day just so you know. But let's just convert these three here. It's going to save them onto the desktop. Now that I've got my three WAV files selected, all I do is simply hit the convert button and boom it is done. Hit close and then we go back to our voice announcement list. We've only got two uh, records in here so we need to hit that plus button to add a record. We're going to go to the desktop here. There is our three files that were converted. Simply hit open and there they are. Now that those are available we can assign them to things such as channels. You notice that the list got bigger here. I know it's, you know, channel one, let's go zone 16, whatever the case is. Same thing on voice announcement wide. You can now select anything from that list to that function. It's that simple, folks. Once you're done with that, save your code plug, write it to your radio, and you are ready to rock and roll. So just a quick recap. Your file format has to be WAVE. 8,000 hertz, 16-bit mono, 56 kilobits or less in file size, no more than four seconds. Realistically, you want to keep it at three. Fire up your CPS, go to Tools, VA Converter Utility. Browse to the file location where your WAV file is. Select the ones you want to convert. Tell it where you want to dump them out and simply hit Convert. Once you're done with that, close it, go back to your voice announcement list and add them as a record. There they are. Once you're done, it imports it. It is now available to be selected and assigned. Boom. Save your code plug, write it to your radio, and profit. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this was quick, short, and to the point for you. And as always, have a great weekend. Thanks.